Vikings, creative quarterback. He got his reps in a week ago, over 400 yards through the air. It's the Vikings and the Bears, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 24. They say summer is the time to live in Chicago. Well, that's extended into autumn as we are ready to roll under blue skies at Soldier Field. Today, we've got a week six matchup for you here as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. Valus Jones now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. Commanding the offense will be the seventh overall pick in the 2018 draft. It's Josh Allen. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game. Bottom line, may not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. Allen, he'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Kamara. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards right off the bat, and a quick first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort from just across the midfield stripe. Here's second down and two. Now Allen. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Vikings are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. Yeah, confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be, but early in this one, advantage defense so here come the Vikings as they get set for their first drive and they are led out there by their mobile quarterback and he's playing at a very high level here in this early part of the season in fact he leads the NFL in passing yards now that's not always an indicator of success but in his case it is and a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40 yard line the drive starting with a first down 11 yards on that pickup well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Jadevian Clowney credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Back to throw. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 15-yard line. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. First down marker at the five. It's second and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Back to throw again. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. That false start costly. Moves them back to the nine now, first and goal. They'll look to throw again. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They'll try to run this one in. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Vikings take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. So a great start. They force the turnover on the other side and then take it down the field on their first drive and finish it off with a short touchdown run. Nice and efficient, excellent job blocking, finds the gap and barrels into the end zone. Great way to finish off that drive. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, or they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 14 carries, 56 yards, and a touchdown. Well, to no one's surprise, he gets an early rep right there, and they've been playing their best ball of the season as they built this winning streak, and that includes the ground game, where he's kept the offense productive and put them in position to win ball game. The question now is, can this defense that he's facing do what others have him and finally put a stop to this streak? So first and 10 now from the 30. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Allen now looks to throw, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Allen on third. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And this play comes to a halt at the 33. And obviously, that's well short of the first down. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. 
He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. It's taken to the 26. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and the Vikings will take over here first and 10. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43 yard line. That's where they'll take over. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. The drive will start with an option going left. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. You look at this defense for the Vikings. They were terrific last week in the victory over Kansas City. I just consider myself fortunate that I'm not in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. It's going to be looking at the offensive line coach. And that's when things get dicey. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Now Allen. He's got Lewis. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. This defense for the Vikings, they were very good a week ago in that win over Minnesota. And the way they did it was by getting after the quarterback. Sacked him seven times in that game. Came from all angles, created a lot of illusions, and especially just beat them man for man. That's the kind of defense that really frustrates an opponent. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. On second down, a run with Herbert. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw it out. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, that's a perfect example of how he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's game. He is just all around the football right now, isn't he? That he is, and it's funny because I talked with the coaching staff about drills that they do in practice, and one of them is called matching hands. And as soon as that hand is launched by the quarterback, you throw the opposite hand and match that hand with the QB, and oftentimes you're able to knock it away as we just saw there. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And now they'll stop play here, at least momentarily. A member of the Vikings in some discomfort after that last play. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. 
The throw on the quick slant going to be complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll look to throw here. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. They'll set up to throw. Throw left side, complete to Moss. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. A handoff as they run the counter play. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Now a second and 10. They're going to look to throw. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 29-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Now back to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter. From the five now, second and a yard. As they've got it as we resume action. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case... Loss of yardage ugly. That is caught. And the Vikings are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it. That's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A great play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Vikings had six to their lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. Now Jones. Jones now on the return. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Here's Allen. A quick throw there is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. Darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. And 
now the third down throw incomplete as well. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Riley Dixon now to punt it away. And take it right on the 30. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five, and it will be Vikings ball first and ten. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. The Vikings at a perfect 5-0 and here to begin the campaign. And they've certainly found their groove of late. Winners of five in a row. And this team is absolutely playing their best football right now. This is the best that we've seen them play in a lot. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jaquan Brisker. And the Bears are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Tough adjustment to the NFL throughout his rookie season, and his problem with turnovers is only exacerbated by his early showing today. That's a couple for him here in this first half, and he's cleared the double-digit mark for the entire season. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Allen's throw there, hauled in by Claypool. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. To throw, it's Allen. There's a short throw. It's caught by Kamen. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 37. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Allen running the option to the left. A beautiful fake. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. It's second and inches at the 27-yard line. To the air, Allen. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Now it's Allen. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. This Minnesota D up to the task on the third down pass play. All right, keep me honest here, Brandon. So they decide not to run the football again. They had two shots to try and pick up the first down, probably fairly easily on the ground. Now it's fourth down. And we'll see if those decisions come back to harm. The fourth kick is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to six now. Well, still some climbing left to do to get back to even, but forcing a turnover and getting the 
field goal there, that's a small step toward erasing the early deficit. Absolutely. That interception field goal, that's the beginning of what they hope will be several steps towards erasing that deficit and building a lead of their own by the time this game is over. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. And they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Going to throw right side here, complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A first down there on a pickup of 25. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably gonna have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. 12 more yards there and another first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Back to throw now on first down. Pressure and he's taken down. A bear sack. Multiple players getting home for the one-yard sack. And we all know how talented this guy is. He's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Now this throw caught left side. Touchdown, Vikings! Justin Jefferson, 44 yards! And the Vikings go up by two touchdowns. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well, and by association, a bright future for the franchise too. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Second and ten. Read option, here's Herbert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. 
So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five at the Bears' 37-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That's going to be caught by Moss. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. They'll set up a throw. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Vikings are able to add on to their first half lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long. And this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. The Chicago offense set to get started. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. He'll get that complete to his tight end commit. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. That's good for us, Chicago Bears. Allen now on first down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Here's second and 10. Coverage defensively by Micah Parsons. Allen now looks to throw. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First and 10 at the 38 yard line. Allen running right on the option. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. He's going to let this one go deep. This is caught inside the 15. A huge play there for Chicago. 52 yards. Well, Josh Allen just might have the strongest arm in the NFL. And at 6'5", he can put his whole body into it, too. And this, an absolutely gorgeous throw. Perfect arc, and it results in a big, big pickup. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll run here with Herbert. A solid move on the run, but ultimately stops short of the goal line. Down at the two. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Herbert will score. Touchdown, Chicago. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Extra point up and good by Funk. And that will cut the lead down to 15. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Funk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Taken at the goal line. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Looking to throw. Completes it to the fullback hand. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Tyreek Stevenson picks it off. And the Bears are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. So his struggle is just continuing here in the first half, throwing the football. Charles now three interceptions. And they don't feel like they're just great plays by the defense. There's a sense that maybe he's a little careless with the football now. So some of the great coaches in the past, you know, they've always said, I can't teach you, obviously, because you're not listening. So maybe the bench can teach you. He's got to be careful now. He might get pulled. So after the INT, it's Allen throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Five yards, now it's third and five. We'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And a good result there as that'll get out of bounds and pin them back at their 10-yard line. With a glimpse of Justin Jefferson, the wide receiver, as he and the Minnesota Vikings return back here on offense. He's well on his way to a 1,000-yard season, maybe on pace to just tear past that, Charles. Defensively, they need to pay a little bit more attention to him? Yeah, I think so, because remember, throwing the football, that can shred the defense quicker than anything else, because as soon as the catch is made, he still has the ability to, you know, yards after catch, get downfield, gain even more, score touchdowns, all of that. This is going to be a lot of fun to watch as this progresses to see how they defend him and how he changes up his game in order to try and keep getting open. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. This time they stay on the ground. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. That burst good for 20 and a first down. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in week six. We'll start over at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. And those two are tied up as they play the second quarter. We'll stay in the AFC North as we head over to Cincinnati to check on the Bengals at home at Paycor Stadium. And you can see they have the lead over the visiting Seahawks. Joe Burrow has thrown a touchdown pass. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. As you can see the score there in the second quarter, Desmond Ritter has thrown a touchdown pass. All right.
Hey, Coach, thank you very much. As we welcome you back for quarter number three, the Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And he's got to be wondering what happened in that first half. Three interceptions, very uncharacteristic. And even the great ones go through phases like this, like what we just saw. And most of them, they have such a mental capacity to throw it out and essentially start over. I think that's where he's headed now. He's got his opportunity to throw it out. Let's see how he does. On second down, they'll run it here. Only a couple there, and he'll be brought down about the 28. So, Charles, you look at this offense, so what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if you look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. They started rubbing it off. Then lost five or six and went out in the first draft. I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real for a ball club. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. A 45-yard punt, four there on the return, and the Bears take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out, and now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt, and now let's go down the field and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Two yards to go, second down. Herbert now on the option, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Throwing now is Allen. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tempt to play the field. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Vikings. A big play there. 84 yards. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie, big time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly, and he knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the other end. Nice collaboration. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On second down, here's Allen. 
And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Take it at the 37. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here are the Vikings to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They'll drop to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's brought down. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. And the Vikings first down. A handoff as they run the counter play. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Second and 10 at the 43-yard line. Back to throw now on second and 10. Justin Jefferson bringing in the slant. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 33. First down, Minnesota. He'll drop to throw. And he's got this to Jefferson. Touchdown, Vikings! Justin Jefferson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings are able to widen their advantage. Brandon, remind me again, this is a rookie quarterback we're seeing? A rookie indeed. I mean, because my eyes are telling me something I'm having trouble believing. Five touchdown passes. He's thrown five in this game. Are you kidding me? The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. On play action, Allen. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35. A huge play there for Chicago. And even 50 yards. Herbert powering up the middle. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Throwing is Allen on third. And that will be incomplete. This Minnesota D up to the task on the third down pass play. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. 
So his third field goal of the ball game brings him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And sevens and probably even eights. You know, as a kicker, you just head out when you're called upon, so he's done his job. It's the rest of the offense that needs to get it in gear. They want to close this gap. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that foot Football. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. First down Vikings. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. There he goes again. Touchdown. Vikings. A great play there. His third touchdown of the game, 10th on the year. And the Vikings get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. On to the field now come the Bears. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. The false start hurts him there a bit. Backs him up to second and nine. Here's Allen to throw it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense got it. They were already within a shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Back around his goal line. Here's Allen. Complete on the quick throw to Moore. It'll be a gain of just a yard. And that'll bring up fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. And a fair catch is taken here, a step or two inside the 45-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he whips that one incomplete there. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. 
That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Now Allen. Caught right side, it's Lewis. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. A gain of 10 yards. That's good for a Chicago Bears. First and 10 at the 26 yard line. Here's Allen on first and 10. Locates Mooney on the out route. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Allen running the option to the left. And holding it, maybe the wrong decision as he stopped to the backfield. He lost four there, and it's third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Now Allen. And he is caught. And he will have the Bears first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Allen now on the option right. A nice little juke. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. From the 48-yard line, here's second down at a yard. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Finding more on the out route for the completion. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Throwing on first down is Allen. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Allen. They'll set up the screen to Herbert. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little gain. Allen to throw once more. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And the Vikings will take over here just shy of the 30. And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National Football League. And I love what teams do when that happens. You bring the ball to the sideline, the equipment guy grabs it, he puts a piece of tape on it, writes on it so that you know what it is, and then they tuck it away so that you can have it for later and put it on your mantle. Pretty good deal for him right there. Now he's eager to get back out on the field and get his second one. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now it's that his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Boy, Charles, you hate to see this for a rookie quarterback. You're hoping it doesn't shake his confidence, but that confidence, it might be shaken because that is four interceptions for him now in this ballgame. It has to be shaken. Wouldn't be human if you weren't. Doesn't matter whether you're a rookie or a veteran. Four interceptions, you're not sure what you're doing out there. So to me as a coaching staff, I would think very hard about getting him out and trying it again another day. Here's a give to Herbert. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 
And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Allen looks to throw on second down. Complete. This is Lewis. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Third and four. On play action, Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Allen now looks to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Now Allen again. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Well, he leads the NFL in interceptions and nearly added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl-type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. You can almost see all the defenders rubbing their hands together with glee because we all know they relish the chance to bring down a quarterback of his caliber. Anyone who brings him down has plenty to talk about. Not just a sack, but a big win built off the efforts of this defense. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now Allen, got to have this one. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. Fourth down and they take to the air, which really isn't a major surprise. But how about the coverage? They're able to bat it down. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless and take care of the ball on the way out. And yeah, they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. Now back to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing. The route running, competing for the football, just breaking down in defense. Call it a gate of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. The Vikings on third down. They've been tough to stop. Eight for ten so far. Here it's third and three. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Moss. And he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. And here's Ryan right now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here, things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season, but in this one, well, their defense has really struggled. Now here's Allen. 
He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Allen going to throw. And that is incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. One final try here for Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Bears first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got a man. It's his fullback. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he's able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? A handoff for Herbert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. That was a terrific play, causing a loss. As a middle linebacker, simple. You can either fill holes, or you can attack them, as he did there. Throwing his Allen on third. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And the Vikings are going to have it here just past the 25. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. It seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. And out now come the Vikings. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Brings up second and two. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Give him 32 on the play. And even with the game seemingly in hand, they're continuing to fire away, pressing the ball down the field. Listen, it's worked all day. No reason to go away from it now. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Stopped on the play by Jaquan Brisker. They work now on second and nine. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 99 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. He'll look to throw. Touchdown! A great effort there. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Vikings add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Bears offense ready to get going again. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory. 
but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. Just too much to handle on the other side in this one. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. To the air, Allen. They'll set up the screen for Herbert. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two at the 43-yard line. Throwing now is Allen. They'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 45-yard line. That's good. Four Bears, first down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And this will be caught by Mooney. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll make it second down. Brings up second and seven at the 42-yard line. Here's Allen. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense they are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. This has really just been a lopsided affair. What a performance they put on, and now they get the football back here with a big lead in the fourth quarter. You know, in the past, we might be discussing dinner plans, talking about steak and sushi, whatever the case is, CD. This ball game is pretty much well in the books. Yeah, we really could have started bringing up dinner a long time ago if we wanted to, partner. And I think a few of the guys out on the field already making plans for the evening. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. And it's third down. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A handoff as they run the counter play. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So for Minnesota, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 now through the first month and a half. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Chicago, the losses are piling up as they drop to 1-5 now. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.